What's going on, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Crossout. Arbitus, a weapon that I don't want to think about. The equalizers are so weak when it comes to PvP, in my opinion. Arbitus, they're just... You spice this thing together. I literally, like, fused the crap out of these weapons to just get something out of them. Uh, made the heat, made them heat resistant so that we can just fire over and over and over and over again really did everything that i could on this build to make it just somewhat good for a 6200 power score build and yeah i had some practice rounds with it and it's still not good <laughs> um the reason that i want to do a build with the abacus and the reason that i want to keep it somewhat like just somewhat still good looking like this in my opinion is a neat looking vehicle it's a very, very good looking vehicle. The thing is just that it does not perform very well because it's Arbitus. <laughs> and the Arbitus, look at, look at the health uh, pool on them, 170, 170. They are stripped so easily. And in my opinion, because of that, it's just not a very good weapon because the hitbox is still massive. Let's look at something like the, let's take the Helios. 50 HP more and as you can see it's not all that much bigger because the Helios has a weird hitbox on top of that um, just just to cover that as well looking at something like the Aurora laser I know that like the Aurora laser is not an Arbiter but the Aurora laser is something you often run together with this thing now in my opinion if you look at these this one looks about as armored up as this one and yet, the Arbiter is so much bigger and has so much less HP. That's an issue. And for that reason, I just find it so hard to see the Arbiters actually being very viable. Uh, besides in Clan Wars and stuff like that. So I wanted to do a video on them today. To just try them out, see what they feel like. It's probably going to be a rant video. Because I'm not positive about the MGs. Um, overall, I haven't crafted them on my personal account. I'm on my promo account right now because I didn't want to waste the coins um, on my personal account because I know I'm not going to use them anyway. So why craft them? But let's just take, give it give it a shot and see what it's, what it's actually like. Like, trust me, I really did all that I could. Like, everything that was in my power to make this just look somewhat good while the Arbiters are still somewhat protected as well. And this is the end result. And yes, I am very happy about the end result. I am indeed, but I just, I just it's still do not know what the guns actually feel like. Maybe want to back up a bit here. Good. <laughs> Let's see, rip up those guns because I think Sarah is gonna pop out. Here we go. There we go. Oh wow! Whoops! I just reset the guns by accident. Not good. Oh wow! What is that guy doing? What is that brick he's driving? Let's get that brick going. Beautiful. Keep the damage going. And, like, the damage numbers aren't all that big either. That's the next issue I have with this weapon because I know that it's an MG and it does good at certain ranges, but for a legendary weapon that should be a direct upgrade to the equalizers, I, like, the test that I've been doing, I don't think they feel any different to be honest. I don't know what you guys think about the damage. Then you see, there we go, we lost one gun. Just from a from one single cricket volley. And like the guns are somewhat protected as you can see. Let's just look at it. It's somewhat protected. But the hitbox is still just so big. <laughs> so whenever someone engages us, we just lose him. And that's where the essence of the problem lies really is the fact that you have to get somewhere close before these are effective because the damage what is this dude doing? so strange um, like you, ha you have to get someone can somebody tell me what the crap just happened there wow Right. What I'm trying to say is that you have to get somewhat close when you use these guns in order to be effective, in order to actually hit where you want to hit because the spread is quite big on the gun still. And if you want to get close, you're a target. Like, you're going to be a target for people who want to kill you. And if you're a target, you're going to lose your guns easily. So, 
there's a big conflict there. Because if you want to get close, like you need weapons with more durability. Just look at something like the aspects. Um, the aspect has such a tiny profile and does so much better. If you want to go high power score, then why not go with the Reapers? They deal so much more damage. They have a lot more durability. Um, the, they don't lose damage over distance. They do, but not as much. So I just don't see why this weapon is fit in any way. But let's just get the rest of the games going. Like, it's just one enemy left, but I feel like we should just, uh, yeah, leave and get on with it. <laughs> Alright, so we got the second game here. Ouch. Should I move out of the way? I probably should. That recoil is a... I was about to say bitch. <laughs> um, for us, because oh, it resets our guns whenever we break, if we drive backwards. Let's see if we can land some shots on these dudes. The the theory of this build, like where it would actually shine, is if we could get someone and we can just chase him down. Oh no, that like look at that, look good. And if we can chase him down, then we can keep the perk of the cabin, of the favorite cabin. Um, just going and going and going and going. And if we can do that, we should be able to fire guns without ever stopping. That's the theory. Does it work though? I don't know. Let's try and see what happens here. Man, there's so many bastion cabins lately. That's the thing that I've noted. Like, everybody just... People are loving the bastion cabin. It's a pretty easy cabin. If you're struggling to stay alive, like, the big plow in the front is gonna save you for sure. So I get why a lot of people want to go with it. Let's see if we can do... Ouch. And there goes a the gun, and there goes the other one. <laughs> This weapon is so terrible. I actually don't know what the devs were thinking when they implemented it. I would rather spend my money on... Yeah, I don't know. Literally any other weapon than that one. Oh, wow. Alrighty, third game. Did I say third game in the second game? I don't remember if I did. This is the third game. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, third time's the charm. Isn't that what we say? We might actually do something this round. I mean, I don't expect it. And and don't get me wrong, the Abida is not just because it doesn't work here doesn't mean that it doesn't work at any power score at all. Um, the best fit for it right now would probably be in a big ass spider, like a huge spider, as big as they can get, with a proper roof on top of the weapons, like, you know, just a classic Clan Wars meta build, um, to help you on your journey. Let's get a move on here again so we can actually charge our guns, see if we can keep them going. Oh, we're looking good right now, actually. See that? Boom, there we go. Gun's still running. They did do us bad there just a short period of time though. Like one of them reset, but it's it's good, we're still going. Oh. Ouch. I was honestly expecting to lose my guns. What the crap is going on? Can these guys leave me alone please? I'm gonna go away. God damn hurricane players, there's so many of them. I guess I'm gonna get degunned by this guy. Wait, we actually didn't. But we are in trouble now, though. We actually can't. Wait, this is stupid. What is no? Right. 
Hmm. It's not outdated. So you see, that's the next issue because then I, I could have fought that last guy easily and run away from him and kill him while I was like driving away. But you need to ammo these freaking things up so good if you don't want to lose them instantly. Because I need that rear thing there to protect them. Meaning that, nope, I'm never going to be able to shoot anyone. Like, look, I have to aim this high in order to shoot them, so I wouldn't be able to fire at him down there to actually try to kill him. Yeah. If you haven't guessed it by now, I just don't like it. I just don't like these guns. Yeah, ram me, dude. Ram me. Good job. Man. What is going on? Also, like, just... More missile locks. Yes, please. Oh, they went away. Nice. We actually survived. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is going to be a good fun game. Let's end, like, let, let's end the fun game here with some positivity. Have I made out there? Nope. Here's some more missiles for us. Thank you so much. Spray these dudes down over there. Oh, this. This is a kick. Like, why is this so chaotic all of a sudden? One gun sparking. Don't even think we've been hit by anything. I just think the gun just decided to start sparking because it know it knows it's gonna fall off eventually anyway, so the gun just started sparking anyway. See we have someone over here. Ooh, look at that. Burning corpse. Let's see if we can kill him. Nope. We got the kill assist though. Take what's mine. Shoot these brothers. Ouch. That really hurt. Alright. I will say some decent damage if you actually get a position like this where you can just fire at people and and not really get into too much trouble. Oh wow, whoops. Let's actually you know what, I actually think we're gonna be in a position where we can hunt people down all of a sudden. I don't remember when I tried this the last time, but yeah, and now that we do this, we're probably get, gonna get into some trouble for doing this. Get him, nice. Oh my, we're, we're what? Are we actually being a part of the team? How did we wait? What? How did we kill him? Wait, what? Did we just get three kills? I take everything back. The obvious is OP. And of course, I'm just kidding. In my opinion, it's still a terrible weapon. Like, the good thing about most of the weapons that we have, I gotta stop moving the camera. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the good thing about the most weapons that we have is that they are viable at low power score and higher power score. This weapon is just not viable. I've seen a few in Clan Wars. And I'm still not get, not impressed by it because it's just so random. It's good right now since we have the dog meta. But I mean, just a, almost just a spark looking at this. And then, boom, it goes away. <laughs> like, even sparks are able to degun these before the spark actually get degunned, I think. Not sure. Just what I think. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it just showed, sort of showed you the habit. So you might still like it after seeing this. I don't know. If you do, go get it. If you enjoy the weapons, play them. At the end of the day, Crossout is about having fun. It's a game where there's a bit of a meta, but there's also very much not a meta. So do whatever the hell you want to do and what you like to do. If you enjoyed this video, there's a like button down here that you can press and show some support and there's the subscribe button if you want to see more until next time guys have an awesome day bye